Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing? I'm um, going to invite some people in here and say good morning. And uh, <clears throat> it is a beautiful day. Heard some thunder this morning. I love the sound of thunder early in the morning. Good morning, Mom. So... So, and uh, started learning, uh, sorry about my messy hair, that's why I wear a hat every morning, but uh, um, been talking to a, a lot of friends online, had a prayer meeting with our district yesterday via Zoom meeting, so been doing a lot of <clears throat> meetings via kind of this stuff, <laughs> you know, um, usually I see everybody else, uh, picturist, you know, um, so it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun, um, so today I have two more meetings, uh, we're meeting a lot doing this since nobody's really moving anywhere. So, and then I have another one this later this week, um, just connecting. Good morning, Sherry. And, uh, uh, but so this morning's verse <clears throat> is Romans 3.23. Um, you've heard this verse if you've grown up in the church and uh, it's both Challenging and encouraging at the same time. Romans 3.23 says, For the wage of sin is death, but the, gift, the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I read that this morning. And last night I, I was talking to a friend. Um, uh, for several years I rode this uh, bike ride uh, in Stillwater, Oklahoma. It used to be called the Land Run. Now it's um, Mid South, and it's it's riding in the National Forest over there, and it's it's an awesome ride, except it's very difficult because when it rains, it's really full of mud. It's it's um, it's it destroys your bike, and uh, the very first year I went out. Um, I blew my bottom bracket. The second year I went out, I blew my bottom bracket. The third year I went out, I blew my bottom bracket. And everyone goes, well, why do you still go out? I stopped going out. Um, because every year I went out, I spent lots of money to fix my bike. Um, but it was so beautiful out there. Um, but I... And, and this is no kidding. Every time I went out there, I says, I'm never going to go out there again. I'm never going to ride that ride again because it just destroys my bike. It destroys me. I, oh, my last year I went out there, I pinched a nerve in my back. And, and this morning as I read this verse, and this verse says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So this ride made me think of sin. We we get saved and we know that the Bible says we, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We know that. We're great at sinning. <laughs> We're awesome sinners. And we've all sinned. And we're saved by grace, but we keep doing and we keep making mistakes. And then we know that God will forgive us, right? Praise the Lord. Just like me going back to that ride over and over. Until we make a decision not to go back to that. The very fact is we understand that God saves us. God loves us so much. The end of this is this. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
here's the deal. God loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son for each one of us. He knows we're mess ups. He knows that we're going we're to keep doing the same stupid things. That doesn't negate that we forget to ask for forgiveness. That doesn't say, hey, you know, I, he knows I'm going to mess up. He, he's going just to gonna accept it that we're going to mess up and he's just going to accept us. He's just going to allow us into heaven. No, we have to admit that we're sinners. We just don't. He doesn't go, oh, go, good for you. You're a sinner and you're going to mess up and I'm just going to allow you into heaven. No, we have to admit that we're sinners. We have to ask for forgiveness. Too many times people will say, well, I'm already a sinner, so what's the big deal? Uh, and the very fact is there's a point where we have to change that behavior. I've heard it so many times is I've heard the saying, I hate to change. Well, at this moment in time, we're all being forced to make changes. Um, I joke about this, but we are forced to wash our hands more often than we, we did before. You might be laughing about that now, but I was a youth pastor for many, many years. And I know that to be true today, that many people are washing their hands, and I hope, than they have ever washed their hands before. Um, <clears throat> We're cleaning more often than we have ever cleaned before. Changes. I am seeing people taking more precautions than they have ever. Changes are going on. And my thinking is, the wages of sin is death. There has to be a change that needs to take place in our life that says, I'm going to stop doing those things that I used to do and say no to that kind of behavior and really give my whole life to God. And, and so, yeah, so I don't have to keep on asking for forgiveness for that same thing over and over. There's things that we know that we do all the time that we know we don't need to do and stop doing them. Now let's talk about a couple other things. There are things that we are addicted to that it's difficult to stop. I have a couple friends that, um, are alcoholics and there are getting help and they may have uh, messed up um, and they're getting help does God love them any less absolutely not I have friends who are drug addicts does God love them any less absolutely not there's other addictions does God love them any less absolutely not can God save them absolutely Does God look at them any lower? Absolutely not. God loves everybody. The very fact is, he forgives everybody. We just have to admit, I need Jesus. And so when we understand that, that free gift, that eternal life, every, it's for everyone. Too many times we say, well, that person is so far gone God can't even say them. That is so absolutely wrong. The truth is, everybody, all they have to admit is, I am messed up. I am not. I need Jesus. I am messed up. I am a sinner. I am, because we're all sinners, right? I need Jesus. I need to ask Jesus in the heart. And you know what? We as Christians, we have that truth. God changed us. Jesus changed us. Jesus came into our heart. We can share that truth. And in this time, why not share that truth with our neighbor, with our friends, hey, with our enemies? People are worried right now. People are going, oh, you're capitalizing on their worry. I'm not capitalizing on anything. This truth has been around for ages. I'm just saying, this is 
The Bible says that he is the peace that passes all understanding. And this is the greatest opportunity. I'm not capitalizing on anything. I'm just continuing the truth that has always been here. And this is the greatest opportunity that we can have is to share the truth. If you want, you can share this video. I'm just saying, hey, I am no different than anyone else. I am a sinner that's been saved by grace. I'm a pastor that's been saved by grace. Am I a sinner? Yes. Do I ask forgiveness? Yes. This, this verse, Romans 3.23, for the wages of sin is death. Here's the change. I ask forgiveness every single day. I wake up in the morning. I do my devotions. I ask for forgiveness. I move through the day. I close the day. Ask for forgiveness. If I mess up through the day, at that moment, I ask for forgiveness. I might even go to people and say, hey, please forgive me. But here's the deal. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So, bam, there's your answer. But change is hard. I get that. So anyways, get out your notebook. Write this verse out. Romans 3.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. So we're going to pray for our world. We're going to pray for our world. We're going to pray for my dad. Pray that he's healed. Pray for my wife's dad so he's healed. We're going to pray for uh, just everything, I guess. Um, pray for my friend Bruce. I pray for my friend Jody. And uh, just there's so much, there's people who are infected with the virus. And uh, so let's pray. And uh, I, I know there's multiple other things. And so let's just pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I thank you that, Lord, that you're in charge of all things. And, Lord, we just give them to you. Lord, I pray for my dad that you heal him. I pray for my mom that you give her strength. I pray for my father-in-law. Gary, I pray that you just heal him. I pray for my mother-in-law that you give her strength. I pray for Aunt Chris, Lord, that you just touch her, Lord Jesus, and heal her. And I pray for Sherry's family issues, Lord God, that you just move in those. And I pray for this virus that is going through our country. I pray that, Lord, that you heal our land. I pray that, Lord, that you just work through uh, in a major way. I pray for my friend Jody who just had a stroke, Lord God, that you just move in a mighty way, heal our body, and Lord, we just give them to you, Lord God. I pray for those that who have been infected by this virus. I pray that, Lord, that you heal uh, them as well. I pray for uh, all the doctors and first responders and all that uh, has to work. They're essential. I pray that you keep them safe, and Lord, protect them. And Lord, find a cure. Lord, they're working hard to find a cure. Lord God, take care of those. Lord, those who are unemployed right now or not getting paid, I pray that you provide for everything that they need right now. Lord, there's just so many. But Lord, I pray for the unspoken, Lord God. You know exactly what they are, whether they're finances or health or, Lord, the numerous other ones, Lord God. Lord, meet those. I pray that, Lord, that we can be a blessing to somebody today. Use us, Lord God. Lord, I pray as we talked about this today from Romans, uh, that Lord, about sin and, and eternal life, I pray that you use us to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord, in your name. Amen. God bless you. Love you guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have an awesome, awesome day. Be blessed.